Um, and now Oscar Wesenbeek. Oscar is the Managing Director of Marine and Protective Coatings for Axon Nobel. Oscar, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see so many stakeholders combined and focused on accelerating the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. And like HP, I would like to give a business perspective on basically on three levels. First of all, what can a business do in and by itself, how to accelerate and align with the SDGs? Secondly, I believe we also can expand our vision in the industries in which we operate. How can we help scale in a measurable way, indeed, the implementation of the SDGs? And finally, I want to share with you a very specific example how you can partner with NGOs and other partners along the society to make a true impact and even develop new businesses in the process. First of all, Axel Nobel has been having SDGs and sustainability at its heart from the very core. And already in 2014, we were with the first 60, 60 signatories for the post-2015 charter. We worked together with the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, the Dutch Sustainable Growth Coalition and other uh, like-minded businesses and NGOs on the SDGs. And we really embraced the SDG Compass, the tool which was developed by the World Business Council for Sustainable Development and the UN Global Compact and Global Reporting Initiative as another approach to align ourselves, to find ourselves where we as a business can have an impact on driving sustainable growth for the future for the many reasons that also Rajiv just pointed out. And this map gives you a very specific example and we're gonna update it again this year where we help use this tool to pinpoint those areas like SDG 7, affordable and clean energy, SDG 9, industry and innovation and infrastructure, SDG 12, responsible consumption and production, and of course SDG 13, also climate action. Our main focus, however, is on SDG 11, sustainable cities and communities. This is a really a fantastic roadmap how we can use the SDGs and how we as an individual company can contribute. We translate these roadmaps into tangible goals. And the 10 minutes I have are too short to elaborate on how we break down these individual goals into targets that go down to each and every individual employee of Axon Nobel that they know and they will propose how can they contribute on the targets in the company. And we also align the incentives of our managers. We align our decision-making processes in terms of product and business development. And it does pay off. For now, in the last five years, four times, we have been the number one in the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. And we have made a pledge that by 2050, we will be 100% using renewable energies and be completely carbon neutral. We have set ourselves targets in operations, how to reduce with 25 to 30% our carbon emissions and the, ways, the way how we use energy in our company. Very tangible examples, not just in the products that we bring to market, but also in our own operations, how we can scale up the sustainability goals as well. I wanna give you, share with you an example that not just within your own company, but also in the industry in which you can operate, you can make a significant difference. The product Interslick that we introduced in the last 20 years already has saved the shipping industry more than 8 billion in oil and fuel that is being consumed. Shipping continues to be a very important industry for all of us. 85% or more of the goods that you are wearing are being transported over the oceans. This is a very efficient and economic friendly way to move products from A to B, but still in absolute numbers, the shipping industry is responsible for between three to 4% of greenhouse gas emissions. That may be sound, not much to some, but it equals roughly the size of the economy of Germany in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. And we believe that every player in this industry, also us as a leader, have a role to play to contribute to a cleaner and better shipping industry. And the video I would like to share with you will give you a vision of how we see and how we can contribute to sustainable shipping. Dad, what are 
are you doing on your iPad? I'm going to check on my fleet. Log in, Intertrack. Good morning, Paleos. I am Intertrack, the future of sustainable shipping. Intertrack, show me today's fleet status. You have 120 ships at sea, 5 ships in dry dock, and 30 ships at port. Are those all your ships? Yep, I can see where all of them are because they're painted with Intersat, a satellite tracking paint that works even when the AIS system is switched off. Paleos, Global Voyager requires attention. Take me to the dashboard. Vessel efficiency is currently at 40% of optimum. Intertrack, show me diagnostics. Hull health is currently 10% of optimum and there's damage to area 878, causing fouling. I will now arrange hull and propeller inspection in maintenance with Intersleep 2.0. Thanks, Intertrack. There, who's dead? Those are drones, son. They can fly around the ship and they can go underwater to inspect the ship from all areas as some jobs are dangerous for humans. The drones check and maintain the ship so it can get back to its ideal performance level. Propeller has been cleaned. Fouling from the damaged area has been removed and a fouling control patch has been applied. Thanks, Intertrack. Paleos, Ecotrader has just arrived at Guangming Port. Okay, request for status report. Status report for Ecotrader has been received. Time to completion is eight hours. Okay, Intertrack, take me to Guangming Dockyard. Dad, what's that? That's a dry dock, where ships go to get repaired and repainted, so they will be as good as new. This is Asian Merchant at Guangming Dockyard. It is undergoing regular dry dock maintenance. Time to completion is three days. Whoa, Dad, what are those things? This is an automated robotic application, which allows more controlled application of paint, less waste and higher quality. It gets the job done quicker, so the ship can go back to sea faster, and it's better for the environment. Show me ongoing projects. You have four ongoing projects. Check for updates on Project Lamina. Project Lamina is 32% complete. Estimated time to completion is one day. Thanks Intertrack. Let's look at sustainability. You have saved 2.5 million tons of CO2 emissions. 2.5 million tons? Is that a lot? Yes it is, son. It's enough to fuel 32 return trips to the sun in Daddy's car. Thanks, Intertrack. That's all for now. Thank you, Paleos. I'll update you about your ships and of notifications from the control center. Have a good day. Dad, can we go to the sun? So, as you can see, uh, the traditional role of a business uh, in order in terms of scaling up is not limited anymore to its own resources, but very much dependent on partnerships. You saw in this video, robot application, drones and the like, the use of IT in every shape and form, big data, and that is really the role of every business today. I want to share with you also finally another example with a partnership that some of you might not have thought of. But we are very proud that we have partnered up with the Ocean Cleanup. Every year, 8 million tons of plastic is being thrown in the sea. And we really embraced this partnership with the Ocean Cleanup, not only providing them the sustainable coating solutions for them to build and deploy these assets in the oceans, but also with, to help them really clean up about 50% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in the coming year, which normally would have uh, taken about 79,000 years for nature to do. And in order for them as well to create a new energy, a new business really, where we have a circular economy as we're going to use all that plastic, basically to, for example, Adidas has already committed themselves to make new sports shoes using the plastic that we recover. Dell is going to use it as well. We, of course, are going to use it. Basically, we are going to be a part of creating that circular economy. So I'm very proud of that, and I want to show you a short video about introducing the ocean cleanup to you as well.
You can see it twice if you like. <laughs> now you can applaud. <laughs> now, if you, if you read and, and listen about the story from Boyan Slot, the founder for the Ocean Cleanup, I invite you to go to the website of the Ocean Cleanup or to YouTube to see his video. This is really inspirational. A young guy already from the age of 15 made this his life commitment to set up this initiative and, and it's really amazing. I wanna close off with some remarks. Uh, first of all, for us, sustainability is business. It is so much more than philanthropy. It's so much more than corporate social responsibility. It is really business. And if you set your priorities as a company in finding the right partnerships, developing solutions for the market that also take very much into account that you do contribute to a more sustainable environment, then you also will find that you have a purpose with your company that attracts young talent that wants to join your company to make a difference. Then indeed you create that momentum to make a difference and to create that transformation both in the environmental, in terms of a social and in terms of an economical sense. And in that respect, I would say, I hope I shared with you a couple of levers where measurability and scalability do make an impact and every business counts. Hope to count you in. Thank you.